Let's get more from Dallas. We have David Tice, Chief Portfolio Strategist for Bear Markets at Federated Investors, and his prudent bear fund is ranked in the top 2% of his peers over the past five years. David, good to have you with us once again. What about this best September in 71 years? Uh, you're still sticking with your bearish call. Yes, I really am, Susan. Uh, it was a great month for the S&P. It was up 8.8%. However, gold was up 5 percent, silver was up 17 percent. And if you look at it for the year, you know, the market's up about 2.5 percent, but gold's been up 19 percent, silver's up 29 percent. So essentially, we just oh. had easy money that's helped keep this market up. Okay. Well, Dave, it looks like the easy money is going to continue. We're expected loan facilities to be increased in Japan. Uh, people are expecting QE2 coming from the Fed as well. So as long as we have this liquidity slushing around the markets, will we continue to see stocks higher? Well, you know, if, if printing money was the key to prosperity, then Latin America would be the world's leader today. And you can't print your way to prosperity. And it works for a while. However, eventually people get smart and they start to doubt the currency. The dollar index has not done well lately, and that's why gold's over $1,300 and silver is on a tear. Uh, it's possible notional stock prices could go up a little while more. However, I'd be on the other side of that bet. Yeah, David, you're sticking by your call back in May that the S&P 500 will be at 400 400 in 18 months. So with, uh, with analysts right now cutting their forecast for earnings, I mean, doesn't it make it easier for companies to beat these numbers? And again, we might see rallies on the back of that? Well, really, earnings are a lagging indicator, Susan. Uh, corporate earnings are going up. They've been strong. Companies have cut back on uh, a, a lot of people. That's why unemployment is where it is. Uh, they have gotten more efficient. In addition, financial companies, uh, are, their earnings are up because companies have followed the policy of pretend and extend, and they aren't really mark-to-market accounting on some of the mortgages and other uh, instruments of debt out there, and that's helped earnings. Okay, David, so talk to me about the turning point thing. We're expecting 400 for the S&P 500 in 15 months from now. When is the next shoe going to drop? That's difficult to say, Susan. Can we get through the election? There's a lot of people that want to see the market stay up yeah, through the election. I don't think the election is going to make any real difference, even if a lot of Republicans get in office because they're still following the same general Keynesian policies. Uh, could it be a, a failed auction in troubled European debt? Uh, the, the troubled auctions went okay in the last couple of weeks due to Germany agreeing to be a backstop, uh, uh, really a sovereign backstop. However, I do believe that uh, earnings, uh, sales are going to disappoint. I think that we are going to have, you know, potential problems down the road in funding our U.S. deficits. Uh, it's very possible China experiences a dramatic slowdown, and I think there will be signs of a double-dip recession in the U.S. Okay, David, you're recommending investors uh, short stocks right now, going long on gold and silver. What about gold and silver prices? I mean, what a rally we've seen for both these commodities this year. Aren't they in bubble territory, some would say? I really don't think so, Susan. If you look at I, I look at the Dow Jones to gold ratio, uh, and, and frankly, I think that's going to get back to, you know, low single digits. I think it's very possible gold and the Dow Jones eventually cross. Uh, we have fiat money, really, across the world. Uh, quantitative easing, too, being uh, embraced today. Uh, countries all around the globe uh, in, in competitive currency devaluation. Uh, it, it's trouble, and that's why people are looking to gold and silver. Okay, David, one more question for you, and it has to be a little bit quick here, because uh, you've been a bear for a long, long time. Some would say forever. When are you going to turn bullish? I'd love to be bullish when we started uh, acting with... We, we frankly need to embrace austerity. We need to get our house in order. We need to start uh, uh, spending what we earn, and we're not doing that today. Okay, well, I look forward to that day then, David. Thank you for that. David Tice of Federated Investors. Let's